Multiplicity. That was the topic for today. That was, uh, here are our notes that we had written today. Multiplicity. Um, multiplicity solution occurring more than once. Uh, we will have to state the multiplicity of solutions, roots, x-intercepts, answers, whatever you want to call it. But how do we state it? Well, here's an example. If you have the function f of x equals x to the x minus 1 to the fourth power, if you solve that thing, uh, you could actually expand it like this. And from there, you could set it equal to 0 and solve, right? So there's equal to 0. And the 0 product property lets you separate each one of those. x minus 1 equals 0. And of course, if you did that four times, you'd have four super easy one-step equations to solve. Of course, it'd be ridiculous to actually solve all those because you get the same answer. And there they are. But of course, you don't want to waste time. So what are we going to do? We're actually going to write it as x equals 1 with multiplicity, I'm abbreviating here, with multiplicity 4. Okay. Now, it's very important that we state the multiplicity of an answer if there is multiplicity. And uh, the notes that we should have understood, copied down, and learned today were right here. All right. Um, especially these right here, it says if the solution has no multiplicity, in other words, the multiplicity is 1, um, then it will cross through that x value as a straight line. So, let's say here's your x-axis, here's your y-axis. If you have a multiplicity of 1, it'll actually cross through like a straight line, okay? Now, if we read uh, the next one, if the multiplicity of a solution is even, it will not cross through that value but only touch it, kind of like a mini parabola. Okay, so if we're looking at a graph and we know that the multiplicity is like 2 or 4 or 6, then it doesn't actually, let's say we know that that's the x-intercept. It doesn't actually cross through it, but just goes down and touches it at that point, and then it comes back up, kind of like a mini parabola. If the multiplicity of a solution is odd, if it's odd, it will cross through that value with a slight curve, kind of like a mini cubic function. So if you have an odd multiplicity, it's going to cross through with a slight curve. So let me give you an example. Let's pretend that that's an xy uh, plane. And let's say I know that it crosses right here. And let's say from left to right it's going down. And I know that the multiplicity is 3 or 5 or 7. So I know it's not going to cross like a straight line. It's going to kind of like do a snake-like curve right through it. That's, that's disgusting. All right, I apologize. Well, we'll see examples of that in a couple of minutes here on the later part of this video. Let's jump to the uh, problems that we actually graphed with the graphing calculator in class today. This is page 142 from our blue books um, from section 3.5. So once again, we could, the goal is to be able to do this without a graphing calculator, and that's what we're going to do right now. So if you look at the function f of x, we could look at this thing. It's already in factored form. So it's really easy to state the solutions. What are your answers? Well, your answer is x equals 1, uh, x equals 2, x equals 3, and x equals 4. Where did I get that from? By setting each one of these guys equal to 0 and then solving. For example, x minus 4, set it equal to 0, solve it, you're going to get x equals 4. And that's how we got this solution right here, x equals 4. So if you do that to each one of them, you'll get those four different answers, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, answers are solutions. And what are solutions? They are x-intercepts, right? Solutions, answers, roots, uh, intercepts, they're all the same thing. So right here, we know that it's going to cross at 1. It's going to have an x-intercept of 2, x-intercept of 3, and x-intercept of 4. Now, we need to pay attention to the multiplicity of each answer. So if I think about it, on the original function, this had the invisible power of 1. This had the invisible power of 1. This had the invisible power of 1, invisible power of 1. So if you think about the power of 1, that actually gives you lines, right? The power of 2 gives you parabolas. powers of 3 gives you cubic functions. So right here we have the power of 1, which means that uh, it is going to actually cross through these red dots. It is going to cross through the x-axis uh, as a straight line right through it. Now, the thing is this. What is the a value? Well, the a value is the leading coefficient, the number that's out here, which is an invisible 1. 
So it is an invisible one. What is the degree? The degree is one, two, three, four. You have to add them up. So the degree is four. So we know it. any even function, any even degree function is going to behave like a quadratic function, right? Like a parabola. It's going to have the end behavior uh, up here because the a value is positive. So it's going to have the end behavior up here. Okay. So uh, let's actually draw this thing. We know it's actually going to cross through like a line right there, and then it's going to cross through like a line, and then it's going to cross through like a line, and it's going to cross through like a line. And there's our graph, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, uh, this is a sketch. It's a really good sketch. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Um, of course, I could be more accurate if I wanted to know. Let me zoom in down here. If I wanted to know whether this uh, actually goes to this level or maybe goes further down and then back up or maybe just a little down and then back up, I could always do inputs and outputs on the original function to get more coordinates. But this is a really good sketch. Um, by the way, let me zoom in some more. Once again, because the multiplicity was 1, it crossed, whoa, sorry, it crossed like a straight line, it crossed like a straight line, it crossed like a straight line, and like a straight line. There was no funny business. Now, what do I mean by funny business? It didn't just, it didn't just touch right there. It actually went through it like a line. Or uh, a different uh, type of funny business is like a snake-like curve. It could have been like this, and then when it hits, it curves a little that way, and then it curves this way. So that would be if you have your multiplicity of three. All these multiplicities were of one, which is the reason why uh, they ended up intersecting like straight lines, okay? Let's move on to a uh, different one that has solutions that have multiplicity other than one. Here is graph B, and let's state the solutions here. The solutions are x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3. However, the answer x equals 1 has the multiplicity of 2. And it's important that we state that because that tells us if it actually crosses through the value of 1, right, or if it just touches the value of 1. Now, we already know that 2 is a solution and also 3 is a solution. So what, what else could we conclude from this graph? Well, what's the degree of this graph? Keep in mind that you have the power of 2 right here. This power is an invisible one, that power is an invisible one. If you add them up, the degree is 4, which means that it's going to have the same end behavior as a parabola, right, as a quadratic. Um, not only that, the a value is positive 1. The a value is positive, so it is going to be opening up. So we already know the end behavior, and I might as well jot down an arrow up here and an arrow up here, okay, because that's the end behavior. So as I am coming this way, I'm going to approach my first solution, which is 1. However, it has a multiplicity of 2. So what does that mean? That I'm not going to actually cross through it. I'm going to, wow, that got ugly. I'm going to touch it and then come back up, okay? And then the answer to that is multiplicity 1, so it's actually going to cross right through it. And then the answer 3 is multiplicity 1, so it's going to cross right through it. And there's my graph. Uh, once again, from here, it went down. It touched it. didn't go through it. just touched it. And then this one went through, and this one went through. Okay? Again, it didn't go through right here because it has a multiplicity of 2. And the multiplicity 2 ends up touching kind of like a little mini parabola, or any even multiplicity for that matter. It's going to just touch it like a little mini parabola. Now, if it's a multiplicity of 1, it does go through it. Okay, like a straight line. If it's an odd multiplicity, then you got to think of your old cubic functions that kind of like cross through the origin like a little snake-like curve. That's how it's going to cross if it's a cubic multiplicity or an odd power multiplicity. Let's take a look at number three here. Actually, I shouldn't say number three. It's letter C. So what are the solutions here? Well, we know that x equals 1. with the multiplicity of 3, and also x equals 2 with no multiplicity, or you could say multiplicity 1, whatever you want. So anyways, we know that this is a solution, and we also know that this is a solution. Now remember, x equals 1 has a multiplicity of 3, 
which means that it's not going to cross, it's not going to cross like this, all right? And it's not going to touch like that. It's actually going to, uh, because it's multiplicity three, it's going to actually cross, but it's going to kind of do like a little snake-like, oh, that's horrible. Let me, let me try that one more time. It's actually going to cross like a cubic function almost. So if it's coming this way, it's going to cross kind of like that. Kind of like with a little snake-like curve right through that uh, point of intersection. So let's do this. Let's first decide if this uh, end behavior are both up, both down, or if one's up, one is down. It all depends on the degree. And the degree of this function right here is 3 plus 1 which is four, so that's an even degree, which means that it's gonna behave like a quadratic, like the most basic even degree function. So the end behavior is gonna be opening up because the A value is one. So it's gonna be opening up, and it's gonna be opening up, okay? Now what happens from there? Let's, let's think about this. This is coming down, approaching, approaching, approaching. Is it gonna cross like a line? No, it's not because it's the degree, the multiplicity three, which means it's gonna do that little snake-like curve right through it. But then it has to come back up. And in this one, it actually does cross right through it, okay? So you get that weird looking uh, snake-like curve right here at this intersection. And then it comes up and it actually does cross like a straight line right through that because that one has no multiplicity or multiplicity of one. Moving on to the last one, uh, that one has the answer x equals 1, okay, and it has the multiplicity 4, mult 4. So there's only one intersection, or x-intercept, which is at positive 1, and what do we know about that? Uh, we know that because the multiplicity is even, it's not going to actually cross through it, it's just going to touch it. Now we also know that the degree 4 has n behavior up here and also up here, right? So as you come down, it's only going to touch it and then come back up. So it's going to look like a parabola, even though it's not really a parabola, it's a, a quartic function. Let's look at one question from the homework. I'm going to jump to number 9, and hopefully you guys could figure out the rest. Or maybe we'll do another video, I'm not sure. Anyway, these answers, so you have the answer x equals negative 2 with a multiplicity of 3. Now, what does that mean? Multiplicity 3, that when it crosses the x-axis, it's actually going to cross like a little snake-like curve. Remember that? Like a little snake-like curve when it goes through that. Um, and the other answer is uh, x equals 3, okay? And that's an even multiplicity, which means that it doesn't really uh, cross, it just touches, okay? So let's actually go to the answers negative 2, put a dot right there, and positive 3 and put a dot right there. Now, what kind of degree do we have here? The degree is 5, which means that we have uh, a cubic function n behavior. The a value is positive 1, so we do know that the n behavior is down here and up here, okay? So let's do this. So going from left to right, it's actually going to cross through it, but because of multiplicity of 3, it's going to make it go like a snake-like curve right through it. And then at some point, it has to come back down. But is it going to cross at 3, or is it going to just touch it? Now, because the multiplicity is 2, it's just going to touch it and then come back up. So I hope this makes sense. The multiplicity of 1 will make it cross through just like a line. The multiplicity of 2 or any even multiplicity will make it touch. The multiplicity of 3 or any odd multiplicity will make it intersect but like a snake-like curve, kind of like a cubic function as you cross through that x-intercept value. I hope this helps, guys.